so in the previous video we have learned how can we generate pdfs in laravel and we have added two functionalities uh, one is how we can view pdf in laravel or how we can download pdf in laravel so here you can see uh, this is the pdf that we have generated with the help of laravel dom pdf and we have generated the, this pdf uh, from view and these are this is the data coming from the database now in this video we are going to export the same da users data into excel to export excel you can use a beautiful package that is laravel excel by spartner you can use uh, in both import and export excel work this package can be used in both export or import excel work so let's go to the documentation and first of all we have to install this package into our application so let's go to the installation from the left sidebar here you can see now here you can see there are some requirements to install this package first of all you need to have a php version greater than 7.2 and then uh, you should have laravel greater than uh, 5.8 so i am using laravel 8 and my php version should be 7.4 or 7.6 so let's install this package with the help of composer command let's copy this command and let's go to the visual studio code and let's open a new terminal and let's paste this command here and let's run this and this will install uh, this laravel excel package into our project and you can not only use this package uh, to export excels in laravel but you can also use this package to import excel files into your laravel application now after installing here you can see this is the second command it is up to you if you are facing error by running the first command you can run this command now here you can see this is the providers array you can add into your config file that is app.php and uh, here are the aliases of this uh, package that you can add into your config app.php now let's copy this command to generate or publish the vendor files or config files of this uh, package so let's run this uh, command into our terminal now after installing and configuring this package into your project let's go to your application and let's uh, work on export so first of all we need to add separate export for this so to generate uh, export in your laravel you can use php artisan so let's open a new terminal and let's write php artisan make export and this will uh, generate a new file a new file that will handle your exports so uh, after this command you need to add a name uh, of this file so let's say users data export and let's run this so you can see the file has been generated now you can find this export file in the app folder and under the app folder you can find the exports folder and here you can see this th this is the our file that is users uh, data export and here you can see this is a simple php class with a name that we have given to this and this implements form collection well there are many ways uh, with which you can export uh, excel like from collection or from view and in this video we are going to export excel from view and you can find all of these methods or different ways to export your excel in the documentation of this website so we need to uh, export our excel from view so let's so let's go to the code editor again and let's remove this function and also let's remove this from collection uh, interface and we need to implement two different uh, interfaces into this class the first one is the from view and the second interface is the should auto size and this interface is used to uh, auto size the rows and columns of the excel now after implementing these two interfaces to this class let's use uh, exportable trait and uh, now uh, let's use a function and this is a function that we are overriding from the interface that that is from view so uh, it is necessary to name this function view and it this function should return a view 
in this view function let's pass our view that we want to convert to x into excel and uh, the view that we want to convert into excel is the is the view that we have added into our project in our uh, previous video and this is the same view that we used to convert to pdf so let's add the uh, user details view into this view function and we also need to specify here the parent method or the pa parent class to this function so uh, let's pass view and this should be illuminate contracts slash view and then view so this is a different view you have to uh, use this view instead of the facade view now let's make a constructor here and this constructor is to uh, query the database so we will return all the users with the help of this constructor so let's make a new uh, variable here so first of all let's make a new variable here and it should be users and in the constructor let's call this uh, variable with the help of this keyword and let's return uh, all users to this variable and then we can pass this variable into our uh, view now let's pass uh, array to this view function and in this array let's pass the users variable that we have defined into this uh, into our controller so we have created our users data export file now we can use it to our controller so let's go to our controller that is home controller and this is the same controller in which I have added these two functions one is view PDF one is for view PDF and the other one is for download PDF now let's make uh, another function to download Excel files so uh, let's make a new function and let's give it a name export Excel and in here we will write uh, the logic to export Excel and we will use the users data export file file that we have created now we can export or download our Excel file with one line because we have added all the log logic separately in our uh, users data export file so let's use Excel class then let's use a function download and make sure to uh, use this Excel class or import this excel class at the top of your controller now in this download function we have to pass the export file that we have created that is user data export so let's pass this uh, let's pass this users data export file now uh, let's save this and let's make a route for this function so let's go to the web.php file and in here let's create a new route and that should be a post request and let's say users slash export dash excel now let's call our controller and then our function that is export excel and let's give a name to this route users uh, dot download dash excel <coughs> now we can use this route into our uh, view file that is index file so let's go to the index file and uh, in the export button we have to use this route so let's go to the export excel button here you can see this is the export excel button now let's add a form here and in the action of this form let's pass a route that we have created that is users uh, users dot download dash excel so let's pass this route in here and we do not need any parameter and the method of this form is post because it handles post requests and let's add target equals to blank now let's move the button into our form now let's save this and let's go to the uh, now let's go to the browser and refresh the page so, okay so we forget to uh, run the application so let's run the application with php artisan serve now let's uh, export now let's click export excel button okay so we got an error too few arguments to function uh, download okay so let's go to the controller and let's check the download function here okay so we we didn't instantiate the user data export so we have to instantiate or create a new object of this uh, report cla export class 
so in the second parameter you can provide a name so the excel file will be downloaded with the same name that you have provided in the second par parameter now let's save this and go to the browser and test this again okay so here you can see the file has been downloaded successfully so we have successfully uh, implemented the uh, export excel functionality now let's s view the excel file that we have downloaded so I don't have the excel software so I will open it up in the google spreadsheet so this is the file that we have downloaded so let's open in our spreadsheet so here you can see uh, so we also got the logo and the heading so this is because we uh, we we use the same uh, template that we use in pdf so let's remove this logo and heading from the template and let's save this and let's go to the uh, application again and let's export excel again now let's uh, open this excel in the spreadsheet and let's see the difference now here you can see now we uh, do not have this logo and heading in the updated excel that we have downloaded so this is how we can easily uh, export excel files in laravel so you can also style you can also add more style to the, to this excel and uh, i suggest you to play more and more with this excel and pdf export so you can so you will know more things because there are a uh, lot of things uh, deeper into this uh, export excel and export pdfs work in laravel